Hi friends, welcome to this session and in this video we'll be learning about how to create a docker image file. Creating a docker image file basically involves three main steps. Number one is to create a docker file and a docker file is basically a normal text document. And then in that file we write all the instructions. Okay, and you can find the list of instructions that we can use in Docker reference documentation uh, on Docker website. Step three and the final step is to execute the Docker build command. Okay, and that will create the Docker image. So let's you know go through these steps and by and what we'll try to do is we will be using Ubuntu image. Okay, the one that we already have locally here, which from our previous session. Okay, we have Ubuntu image with tag 20.10 and we'll use this image and try to install OpenJDK 11 JRE, just the Java runtime environment, not the JDK. So we'll install JRE in this um, Ubuntu image that we have here and create our own image okay so let's do that um, so let's first create the file i mean you know i have uh, in c drive i created a folder called work docker and in that i'm creating a file called docker and the file name must be docker file and let's open this with notepad or any text editor that you you have so here the instructions you know the very first line in the docker file must be from instruction which specifies the base image that you're going to use and the instruction is from so the from instructions specifies the or defines the base image that you're going to use and here we are going to use is ubuntu and the tag is 20.10 okay so there is an exception okay when it comes to from instruction being the very first line in your docker file you can also use argument instruction as the very first line of the docker file okay and that is the only instruction that can come before from instruction okay and what is argument basically it is something that it's a variable you can call where you instead of you know having repeated uh, values or um, constants in all your file you can just declare it once in the file and then you can use it uh, you know wherever is it is needed in the file so let's do one thing let's name this as image version and i'll call it as 20.10 okay um, and i can use that here using the dollar symbol image version okay so that is what we have the next is we can use label instruction and the label instruction is basically giving the meta information of your docker file okay it's a key value pair uh, usually where you can give some information uh, when creating the image file so what i'll do is i'll just give the description saying uh, this is my docker image okay and you might also come across maintainer instruction and a maintenance instruction is something that is deprecated but it is also something similar to what we have label and it is recommended that you use label uh, in place of a med, uh, maintainer okay so the next we have we can use is okay so uh, in this uh, what what we uh, discussed was we will have ubuntu as the base image and try to install um, jre okay jre 11 uh, so the instruction that we have to run is the run instruction and in ubuntu we have apt get has a package manager 
and we'll first what we do is we'll do we'll try to update all the packages and in the same line we you know we can also execute multiple commands in the same line by using double ampersand after we update what we are going to do is we are going to install the jre and i'll give the flag as yes for i'll say yes for all the permissions that will be asked during the installation and i'll use open jdk 11 jre so instead of we having jdk we will be using jre to you know just the jre uh, to um, to run our java applications okay so that is what run instruction is it is basically used to run our commands uh, when building the image the next is we'll give a default using command and this command is nothing but specifying that will uh, the default that will be used when creating the container okay so i'm giving the bash as a default okay and remember that don't get confused with run and command okay the run is something that will be executed when the image is being built okay and command is doing nothing when creating the image it will be executed when we create the container that is the next step right after we create the image we will be then creating the container and when creating the container if you are passing any argument okay just like if in our previous sessions where uh, where we were looking at uh, ubuntu image what we did is we passed sleep 100 or sleep 200 as an argument okay or, uh, and that was basically a command that was you know executed as from by the bash shell okay so this is what will come into action when we pass that command okay we'll see this okay we'll see uh, after we create the image but for now just remember that run and command are different run is something that gets executed when the image is built it is a build time execution whereas command is something that we are providing default to the docker container okay so as per our agenda we already have everything that we wanted we uh, have the base image and we also have the command to install the open jdk jre okay so let's save this file okay and let's go our, to our final step that is to, to run the docker build command so let's go back to here and let's go to the docker folder and here we have is we have the file docker file okay you can see here so the command is docker build and i'll give the tag to my image and my i'll give the name as my app image okay my app image and i don't want to give any tag like the version and i will uh, if you don't specify anything it would take default as latest and that's it so let's hit enter it's giving me an error because you know i have not specified the path of the file so i should have specified that and as we are in the current folder of docker file it should be dot okay so now you can see that the building of image has started so if you look at here you can see that uh, the context or the file the docker file all the context was sent to the docker daemon and the docker daemon is now doing all the operations on the i know doc, uh, docker objects okay so you can see that there are five statements that are the steps that was found okay uh, you can see here one two three four five five steps and it's executing all the five steps so if i scroll up okay you can see that okay this is scrolling back me down but once this is done again we'll go through each step and try to look at what exactly is happening and this might take some uh, time okay so what i'll do is i'll pause the video here and once done i'll come back here
Okay, so creating the Docker image was successful. Now let's go through the steps uh, again when creating the image file. You can see that there are five steps from the Docker file. We saw that there are five instructions that we have in the file. So each is a step and you can see it has the Docker daemon has executed the first image and second image that is, sorry, second instruction that is from Ubuntu. And you can see that there is a there is an ID after every step that is created. So what basically is happening is the Docker daemon is creating a temporary or intermediate container after each step. Okay, and it's also removing it later. You can see that. Okay, so that's how it builds. And after that, it does all the get uh, calls, get uh, by using REST API server. Okay, and finally, you can see, uh, okay, at the very end, it has a lot of instructions. Oh, okay, yeah, so if you see here, finally, it, it says done, and the image is successfully created with name my app image latest. So let's try to look at it. Okay, and the Docker image ls, and you can see that we have a repository called my app image with tag latest. Okay, so let's now create uh, the container, and the command is Docker run. I'll run this in you know, detach mode with my app image. Okay, and if I run this, okay, what will happen is it will get exited because we don't have any process uh, running with inside the container. So to pause it, what I'll do is I like the execute one command, okay, sleep 200. So now you can see that this sleep 200 will be passed on to this command here, this line, this step. So this is why we added command bash here and this will be executed by you know, within the bash shell okay so that's the reason why we have that state uh, step over there so now let's try to create the command and uh, create the container so the container is created let's check docker container ls and you can see that we have the container up and running okay i should have given the name which i missed here and that's why that's the reason why it's taking some random name for container so let's step inside the container by using container execute command i'll do this in interactive mode and the id of the container is fc and next we have is the bash and now i am inside the container now what i'll do is i'll check the version of java so you can see that we have Open JDK version 11.0.7 installed inside the container. So that was our task to do, right? We uh, now have the Ubuntu op, um, container, that is a base image, and in that we have JRE 11 installed. Okay. So that's all for this video, and I will see you in the next session.